Good evening, everyone. Hello. Are you there? Ah, okay. Good evening, Good evening. Mr. Good evening. How are you today? How's everything? How's that feeling for this 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 night? Is it not raining by the place where you live? No está lloviendo ahí por donde viven. Because in here it's about to rain. Eh, it's raining. En este momento está comenzando a llover, teacher. Ah, really? ah, that's cool. That's good. And it's good when it is raining because, I mean, the weather is nice. It's excellent. Ah. But it's not that much funny when uh, when it starts raining and the lights goes off or uh, or, or we got problems with the internet, things like that. I mean, that's not the funny part. Pero por lo demás, super genial que llueva. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We're going to be waiting for... Refresca. Yes, exactly. Oof. And it's like Good evening, Good evening, Giovanni. Okay, so we're gonna start in. Esperemos que no se nos vaya el internet in here. Está comenzando a, a, a tronar fuerte and, and, and raining and, and esperemos que no, no vamos a tener problemas. Okay, we're gonna start with uh, attendance, okay. please. Hi, Rosana. All right, we're gonna start with the attendance. Hi, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. good to see you. Okay, let's see how many we got. Eight. Hey, there are a lot of people that are missing right now. But anyways, we're gonna start with the attendance list, and then we are going to um, continue with the, the things that we got for today. Uh, tenemos una pequeña práctica pendiente. Espero todos se puedan conectar pronto, así podamos terminarla. So, just give me a second. Let's see. So let's start. So Amilcar Gustavo, not here. All right. Ana Claribel, not here. Ana Maria, is not here yet. Carlos Eduardo, present. Ah, okay, very good. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Stephanie Janet. Hmm, that's weird. Stephanie's not connected. Okay. Fatima Alejandra. The Fatima. Hilmar Cruz. Let's see. Neither Hilmar. Jonathan Alexander. All right. Present, teacher. Ah. Este, tengo pequeño inconveniente con la chica. Ah, Está lloviendo bastante. Ah, ok, Jonathan. Ok. Let's see. Carla Benacir. Mm. All right, she's not connected right now. Natalie Vanessa. Hmm. Hey, Natalie's not here. Nubia Zulema. Okay, no here. Romeo Alexis. Neither Romeo. Rosa del Carmen. Uh -huh. Okay. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Excellent. Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Ah, okay. okay. Stephanie Adeline. Mm, okay, Stephanie's not here. Stephanie Lisette. Okay, neither Stephanie. 
William Alberto. Uh, not live right now. And Joanny Noemi. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Excellent. All right. So we're going to start with the teacher. Ah, Stephanie, Janet. Ah, you're here now. Okay. Let me see. Ahorita le pongo asistencia. No problem. Okay, let's see. Teacher, no sé si me mencionó. Ah, yes. Sí, ya lo había mencionado. Se acaba de conectar, ¿cierto? Dilmar. Okay. Sí, sí. Okay, I put it in here. Let's see who else has joined. Ah, Natalie. What's up, Natalie? Está perdiendo toque, sí. Natalie. Hoy, hoy, hoy me entra tarde. Hola. <ríe> Ahora sí, ya no es antes. Acabar, sí, ya no me está funcionando. <ríe> Pero aquí estoy, teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Ay, Nubia is here. Okay. Hi, teacher. Present, teacher. Who says, ay, all right. Good, Nubia. Ah, Amilcar is in here. Okay, cool. So I'm right down in here. Perfect. And who else? Let's see. Ah, Fatima. Fatima is in here. Okay, Fatima and um, I saw Carla. Where is Carla? Ah, yeah, Carla is there. Give me a second. Okay, there you go. If you remember, we have a practice from, from, from yesterday that we now finished. Okay. Vamos a terminar esa pequeña práctica que teníamos de, eh, que venimos arrastrando de la clase de ayer. So, de let's finish que... that. Let's finish that. Yeah, the questions. Questions and answers. Uh, let's finish that. Okay, and then we're going to introduce the topic for... Okay, Carla, ya le puse, ya le puse asistencia. Uh, and then we're going to start the class and the topic for today. Okay, cool. Since Ana Maria, it's not here. So uh, I think she was working uh, with, the, I don't remember who was she working with. Oh my God, permítanme. Okay. Okay, good. So let's finish that practice. And then we're going to start with the new topic that we have for tonight. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna start with, uh, hey Nubia, did you participate yesterday? No teacher. Okay, who were you working with? Fatima. With Fatima? Ah, okay, ah yeah, Fatima is here. All right, can you, can you start please? The practice? Okay. All right. Fatima, how many times a month do you eat pupusas? Let me start with pupusas. Ahora sí vengo bien, bien, bien alimentado. I pupusas. eat pupusas three times a month. Okay, very good. How many times a year do you go abroad? abroad? I never go abroad a year. Ah, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> How often uh, do you eat in a restaurant? In the restaurant, restaurant. Okay, very good. I frequently mm -hmm. eat in the restaurant. Very good. Otra is how, how often do you drink coffee? I always drink coffee. Nah, okay, very good. <laughs> Now yours. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Nubia, how many times a month do you visit your friend? Uh, twice. I, I, I twice visit my friend. Uh, twice at the end. Twice at the end. Uh, twice at the end. I 
I, I visit. I visit friend. My right. My friend. My friend. Uh huh. Twice. Twice. Okay. Very good. The, how many times a week do you go to the supermarket? Repeat, please. How many times a week do you go to the supermarket? I visit the supermarket once a times a week. Okay, in that case, it would be once a week. Okay, once a week. Okay, very I good. I visit the supermarket once a week. Okay, very good. Yes, porque cuando ya utilizamos la palabra once, quiere decir una vez, ¿ok? Ya no es necesario decir times, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Yes, automáticamente ahí estamos mencionando la palabra time, cuando ya decimos once o mencionamos twice, que en este caso, ¿qué decíamos que era twice? Dos veces. Exactly, right? Dos veces. That's twice. Ok, very good. So, is there another one? Fátima. Uh, sí, sí. Uh, okay. How often do you walk to the park? Okay. I never go to the uh, walk well, to the park. Okay, very good. Y la última, how often do you go to the gym? I every day to go to the gym. No. Every day at the end, remember. Every day. I, I go. I go to the gym. Uh -huh. Every day. day. Every day, yes. Very okay. good. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's it. All right, yes. that was the last one, Fatima? No. Okay, one more. Finish. Ah, is that the last one? Okay, perfect. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, Nubia, and thank you, Fatima. You did it excellent. Joanny, okay. who were you working with? Con uh, With whom? Roxana. Roxana? Okay. Yes. Ah, yeah, it, Roxana's there. Okay. Let, let's start. Hola. <laughs> How many times? Ah, usted o yo? Usted yo. How many times a day do you watch TV? I watch TV once a day. Um, how many times a month do you go to visit your family? I go to visit my family 10 times a month. Okay, excellent. How often do you go to the doctor? How, how I go uh, I go to to do um, visit a doctor to the doctor um one one monthly ah okay entonces sería monthly monthly and she says, mm, give me a second. The question was, uh, how many times? Yeah, uh, I go to visit a doctor time monthly. Mm, if the question is using how many times, right, Joanny? Uh -huh. In how, that case, how often? How often? Okay, so monthly is okay. Very good, Rosanna. Monthly. Uh, monthly. Okay. How often do you 
what are the plans? What are the plan? Okay. Rosana? Hola, hola. Answer the question. Uh, how often do you wear the plant? Um, I go to uh, I go to um, one um, one Quickly. Okay, weekly. All right. Um, Roxana, ask your questions. How many times do you rest a week? Uh, I read week to today. Okay, let's keep going. How many times do you leave work late? I leave work late all week. All week, ah, okay. <laughs> How often do you visit other office? Offices? I, offices? I go visit offices one week. Once How? a week. Uh huh. Okay, very good. How often do they supervise you? I I never got supervised. Okay. That's it, Roxana. Uh, listen, I stand complete. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I, I was expecting okay, more. Okay. I'll teach it Yes, of course. I wanted to hear more. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Uh, Mrs. Urrutia, did you did you participate yesterday, or you haven't? Yes. Sí, teacher. Ya participé. Ah, okay, good. Carlos Eduardo, how about you? Did you participate? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yesterday. All right. Perfect. Are you uh, you were practicing with with Hilmar, right? Now I remember. Yes, teacher. Yeah. With me. Yeah, that's true. Okay, it was Salvador with uh, Ana Maria, right? But Ana Maria is not connected yet, and I don't know why. Yeah. No Yo creo que <laughs> Le hizo daño la salsita negra, ya. That's true. <laughs> Me intoxicó. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see. Um, uh, who else? Natalie didn't show up. Neither Amilcar. Jonathan, who were you practicing yesterday? Yeah, I was con Carla. With Carla? No, ah, yeah, but. but, but no, 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 Okay, all right, let's see. Um, let me see. Let, let's, do, let's do something. Since you don't remember, who were you practicing with? Let's finish with this. Rosa del Carmen, did you participate yesterday? Just give me a second, Jonathan. No, all right. You were practicing with Romeo, right, Rosa? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, she's not connected, Jonathan. All right, Rosa del Carmen, I want you to practice with Jonathan. Can you ask your questions and Jonathan is going to ask his? Okay. Yeah, just, just, just to complete the practice. Okay. How many times a week do you have exercise? Um, um, do you have exercise? I you do. Uh -huh. I seldom I seldom exercise. Uh, that's how many times a week, Jonathan. Remember, when we use how many times, we have to count them. One time, two times, three times, seven times. Oh, okay. Uh, Cuando usamos how often, ahí sí ya podemos usar el always, usually, never, generally. Okay. 
Oh, good. All right, repeat it again. I, I do two time. I do exercise. Uh, I, perdona que me, me perdí. Okay, um, let's see, Rosa, repeat the question. How many times a week do you have exercise? I exercise two times a week. Okay, very good. I do exercise two times a week. Perfect. Next question, Rosa. How many times a month do you meet with your friends? Very good. Um, I eat. One, one, one. With my friends, I meet with my I friends. With my friend. One time. Okay, one a time month. a week. Okay, one time a month. Very good. Next question, Rosa. How often do you eat pizza? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I seldom eat pizza. Very good. How often do you play basketball? Very good. I also never play basketball. I never play basketball. Almost, almost never. Ah, almost never. Okay, very good. Nice. Now, Jonathan, ask your questions to Rosa del Carmen. How many times a day do you rest in the world? Do you rest? Uh, I... Rest. Rest. How many how many times a day do you rest in the world? By rest, what you mean, Jonathan? Ah, varía la, el verbo. Es, es descanso, según yo. All right, all right. But let's put it like rest, okay? Rest in your job. Okay. Rest. Ajá, uh -huh, like rest. Okay. How many times a day do you rest in the work? Very good. I rest, I rest in the work one time. A day. Very good. How many times a week do you eat pupusa? I eat pupusa three times a week. Three times a week. Okay, excellent. How often do you work in the park? Okay. I Rarely go to the park. Okay. How often do you go to the beach? I sometimes go to the beach. <laughs> okay, very good. That's it. Okay. Perfect. So thank you, Jonathan, and thank you, Rosa del Carmen. You did it excellent. All right. Since, um, let's see, Ana Marie, it's not here and Carla doesn't have audio. Salvador, I want you to practice with me because uh, I think everybody has been uh, uh, practicing. So let's do it with me, man. Ask the questions that you have to me. Okay, teacher. How many times do you use a day your cell phone? How many times a day do you use your cell phone? That's the question. Okay, see. Okay, I use my cell phone 10 times a day. Solo diez, yes. <laughs> it's because I work and, and you know in the work we cannot use it. That's why. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so many times uh, do you go like your month? Mm, in that case, it will be Salvador. How many times 
a month. How many times a month? Repeat it again. Uh -huh. How many times a month do you go? A year. Do you go? A year. All right, all right. What is the purpose of the question, Salvador? ¿Cómo en realidad quiere poner? ¿Cuántas veces uh, vas al año en la montaña? A la montaña. Ah, ok. How many times a year, okay, do you go to the mountain? A year. Do you go to the mountain? How many times a year do you go to the mountain? Like this. How many times a year? You go to the mountain. Ah, okay. I go to the mountain 100 times a year. I have a mountain very close from my house, so I go there. <laughs> very good. And next question. Um, how often do you eat? How often do you eat? Quitémosle el a month. Solamente, how often do you eat ice cream? Okay. You eat I, yeah. Okay. I generally eat an ice cream. Nah, I mean, I, when we talk about how often it might be, okay, if it is a month, it will be like 25 ice, ice creams a month. Yeah, but not the big ones. I mean, the, the, the small ones. Yeah. Especially when it is hot. When it is hot. Okay, next day. How often? Do you watch a day? How often do you watch? TV. Wow. A day. Okay. I almost never, oh no, I would say I seldom watch TV a day. And I say seldom because I, I'm not used to, to watch TV. I don't have time. I come to my house at seven. At seven, I just have time to eat and then to prepare the computer for this class. So I don't have time to watch TV. So sad. But anyways, probably after class. Okay, cool. That's that. Th those are like the four questions, right, Salvador? Perdón. Esas eran las cuatro que tenía. Sí. Yes, okay. Good. Quiere que le pregunte a usted? <laughs> okay. All right. How often do you eat out? Yeah. How often do you eat out? Eat out means that you go to a restaurant. Okay. Eat out. Como salida de comer. Sí, cuando se dice eat out es como generalmente cuando no comen casi va a un restaurante. How often yeah. do you eat out? Uh, eh. I. 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 Once. I eat. I, I eat. Out. Sometimes. In this case, Salvador, I eat out y mencionamos las veces. O podemos decir every day, every week, every month, every weekend. ¿Cómo sería una vez? ¿Una vez, una vez a la semana o al mes? 
¿Dos veces al mes? Twice a month. Twice a month. I eat out I eat. twice a month. Repeat. Twice a month. Ah, okay, very good. Next question. How many times a week do you give flowers to your wife? No sé qué es eso. Give flowers. You know what is flowers? To okay. your yeah. wife. I, uh, you, ¿cómo es? I give flowers. Give flowers. Uh -huh. One. To my wife. Perdón. Okay, I will write down your question. Look, how many times a week do you give flowers to your wife? Like this, how many times a week do you give flowers to your wife? ¿Cuántas veces a, a la semana le regala flores a su esposa? Una vez al mes. <laughs> Once a month. Ah, okay, all right. Okay, okay. I, you say, I give, I give flowers to my wife. To my wife. Ajá. Uh -huh. Once, once a month. Very good. Okay. Last question. Última pregunta. How many times a month? Right. How many times a month do you wake up late? How many times a month do you wake up late? Yeah, ¿cuántas veces al mes se levanta tarde? O sea, despierta tarde. Últimamente nunca. <laughs> never? Ah, that's good. Okay, I never. Wait. Wake up. Wake up. Uh... Late. Late. Okay, repeat. I never wake up late. Repeat. Never wake up late. Ah, okay, perfect. That's great to you. Okay, let's start. Let me think. Okay, let let's start now with the with the presentation that we got for for tonight. Give me a second. I'm gonna put it on in here. Bien, ahora vamos a comenzar entonces to... Thank you, Salvador, by the way. Now, let's start with the topic that we have for tonight. ¿Me confirman si pueden ver la presentación, por favor? Yes, teacher. Perfect. So, this is the video conference number three. And the question... I mean, and the question. And the topic is how to use how many and how much. Ahora vamos a practicar el uso de how many y how much, ¿ok? Estas son los dos tipos de estructura que vamos a estar uh, viendo esta noche, ¿ok? When do we use how many? Ya lo vamos a ver. When do we use how much? Ya lo vamos a estar practicando, ¿ok? Solo les puedo decir que estas estructuras son para crear preguntas, más que todo, ¿ok? Preguntas de cantidad, ¿ok? O preguntas sobre... Eh, especialmente también de, 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 de dinero o de precios. De hecho, yes. eh, ¿qué posibilidades hay que nos comparta estas presentaciones en el WhatsApp? I am, I can. Solo, uh, please, do something. Ajá, Solo... por lo menos a mí se me hace un poco más fácil, pero como soy en la compu, ¿verdad? entonces ahí mismo puedo ir redactando las o contestando algunos de los trabajos que usted no, nos, nos pide, vea. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok. Sí, una posibilidad, vea. Ok, perfecto. Solo recuérdeme, solo recuerde cuando ya nos vayamos, recuérdenme, por favor, díganme, teacher, suba la presentación al, al, al grupo, porque a veces se me, se me olvida. Ok, es, me pongo a hacer otras cosas. Antes de, de comenzarlo para irlo, irlo siguiendo a usted en la presentación. 
Ah, ok, ok. I, I, I will have that in the... In the... Más compañeros, vea. Vaya, lo voy a tener, lo voy a tener presente. Lo, voy a subir un par de minutos antes entonces la presentación, antes de cada clase. Y así pueden, pueden seguir la... Ajá, no, no hay ningún problema. Ok. No problem Thank you, that. teacher. Ok, perfect. So, let's start. So, this is the topic that we're going to have for, for, for tonight. Ok. So, this is a little bit of the main topics that we're going to be discussing. Estos son algunos puntos de los que vamos a estar tocando en la clase. Short review from previous topic. Básicamente lo que hemos estado haciendo. Un pequeño repaso de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer, especialmente la actividad última. Then we're going to start with uh, the use of how many. And then we're going to start with the use of how much. Vamos a utilizarlos en contexto. Then we're going to practice a short conversation. Luego vamos a practicar una pequeña conversación que tenemos por ahí. Ok. Sobre los usos de how much and how many. Y luego vamos a hacer algunas actividades en el, en el manual. Right. We're going to be working in the manual. And that's pretty much what we have for tonight. Y eso es básicamente parte de lo que tenemos para esta noche. Ok. That's pretty much. Ok. And the check of activities. All right. Give me a second. I think Ana María says something. Second. All right, perfect. Okay, let's continue. Look at this. This is a short review from the previous topic. Something that we were doing, okay? Acá simplemente eh, he puesto para medio refrescar un poco la, 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 la clase anterior, ¿ok? Con las expresiones de tiempo que estábamos discutiendo. Remember, en este caso uh, tenemos every day, ¿ok? Every week, every month, every year, para mencionar actividades, ¿ok? Con qué frecuencia podemos hacer el tipo de actividades. Eh, luego, ¿cuántas veces la podemos hacer? Tenemos three times a day, three times a week, three times a month, three times a year. Ahí dependiendo de cuánto es el número de veces que podamos hacer dichas actividades, así, va, así, así es el número que vamos a poner ahí. Lo único que cambiamos es con qué frecuencia lo hacemos, ¿ok? Ya sea si es al día, a la semana, al mes o al año, ¿ok? And then at the end, y al final... En la última línea tenemos más que todos los adverbios de frecuencia. ¿Ok? ¿Con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos las actividades? Tenemos always, que sería como un 100%. O sea, todos los días, por así decirlo. Generally. ¿Ok? There's another one. Usually. Sometimes. Seldom. Seldom is like algunas veces. Rarely, like raras veces. And then we got never. ¿Ok? Que prácticamente es nunca. Recordemos que oraciones utilizando never eh, son negativas, ¿ok? A pesar de que la estructura, toda la estructura de la oración esté en positivo y no haya ningún not, no significa que sea positivo, ¿ok? Cuando usamos never, generalmente las oraciones tienden a ser negativas, ¿ok? That's pretty much what we were discussing last class. Esto era parte entonces de lo que estábamos discutiendo en la clase pasada, que estábamos practicando, ¿ok? Con el uso de las uh, time expressions. Ok, now let's move on. Bien, ahora que ya medio medio refrescamos acá, vámonos al tema principal. Give me a second. Ok, how many? Let's start with the uses of how many. Ok, and we got in parentheses quantity. All right, since it says quantity. We are talking about something that we can count. Desde que dice, like quantity, cantidad, estamos hablando de algo que podemos contar, ¿ok? So, de entrada, how many? ¿Han escuchado esa estructura antes? Have you ever heard that structure before? Yes. Ok, ¿qué significa how many? ¿Cuántos o cuántas? Exactly, ¿cuántos o cuántas? Very good. All right, perfect. Let's see. Eric, help me a reading, please. How many is, is you said when we want to know the quantity of something? Mm -hmm. It is only using uh, with plural countable 
nouns. Excellent. Very good. So we have a short definition in here about the uses of how many. Entonces acá tenemos una pequeña definición en qué momento utilizamos el how many. Okay. It says, it's used when we want to know the quantity of something. Es usado cuando queremos saber sobre la cantidad de algo. Okay. And it says something important. Listen. It is only used with plural countable nouns. Solo es usado con nombres contables en plural. Ok. Acá no vamos a hacer preguntas. No vamos a crear preguntas con nombres en singular. Ok. Siempre tienen que ser en plural. Y si tienen que ser cosas que podamos contar. Ok. That's the difference. So, like questions using how many and mentioning words like sugar, like um, oil or water, it's, it's not available here, okay? It must be in plural and countable. Okay, this is the structure. So we got how many plus plural nouns, right? That's, that's, that's basically the, the structure that we use. And we got some questions as a model of example, okay? Let's see, Carla, read the first example question, please. Okay. How many activities do you do in your work? Very good. How many activities do you do in your work, right? Like, ¿cuántas actividades haces en tu trabajo? So you see, in that case, we are talking about the quantity of activities. En este caso, si ven después del how many, tenemos la palabra activities en plural. ¿Ok? Entonces, ese es el nombre contable en plural que tiene que ir. ¿Ok? Básicamente estamos preguntando sobre ello. And it says, how many activities do you do in your work? Ok. Salvador, read the answer. I do seven activities. In my work. Ok, very good. So, in that case, acá respondemos ya con cantidades. Ok, aquí ya es con el número de cantidad, right? Representando una cantidad eh, de cosas que tenemos que hacer. De acuerdo al tipo de pregunta que nos hagan, así va a ser el tipo de respuesta que vamos a tener. So, I do seven activities in my work. Let's see, I think we got another question. Uh, Janet, read the question for me, please. I do, I do. All right. Um, how many apples do you have? Okay, very good. How many apples do you have? Okay, in here, we have to answer this question with quantity. Okay, Amilcar. Read the answer. I have four apples. Okay, very good. So you see, I have four apples. So in that case, in here we are mentioning a quantity. Okay, we are mentioning a quantity. I don't know if you have any question right up to now. No sé si tienen alguna duda hasta acá. Okay, if you have any question, please let me know. Questions so far or everything is okay? Okay, cool. Copy this and I want an example. Copiamos esto y me van a escribir una pregunta como ejemplo. Recordemos, aquí estamos expresando cantidad, okay? Y tenemos que hacerlo con un nombre en plural. I'm gonna start. Voy a comenzar con mi ejemplo y lo voy a preguntar a Mrs. Urrutia. Okay, Mrs. Rutia, how many cell phones? Listen up. How many cell phones do you have? I have one cell phone. Okay, very good. I have one cell phone. You see, en la pregunta es cell phones, plural, pero en la respuesta, como ella solamente tiene uno, ya no va a decir cell phones. 
en plural, sino que simplemente la palabra cell phone, sin la S, ¿ok? I have one cell phone. Very good. I'm going to give you one minute for you to, to write down a question. Quiero que me escriban una pregunta utilizando cualquiera de los utensilios que puedan ver en sus compañeros, ¿ok? And then we're going to ask questions with that in plural. Okay, we can use the word cell phones, computers, um, jobs. You see, we got a lot of vocabulary to practice with. Let me know when you have the question. Me lo hacen saber cuando tengan ya la primera pregunta, please. It's just one. Very good. Okay, nice. So let's see. Okay, Stephanie, I'm going to start with you. Uh, and, uh, I'm talking about Janet. Uh, Mrs. <laughs> no. Yes, just to clarify. Lo que pasa es que se me olvidó que a usted le llamo Stephanie y a ella Janet. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, Mrs. Janet, I'm going to start with you. I want you to ask your question to Hilmar. Hilmar yes. is going to answer. So, Hilmar, pay attention. Okay. Okay. Um, how many cars do you have? Very good. Okay. I have a, I have one car. I have one car. Oh, okay. Um, Very good. Thank you, Stephanie. All right, Hilmar, I want you to ask your question to, let's see, Fatima. Okay. How many, how many watches? Do you have? Very good. How many watches do you have? How many watches? Yeah, watches. Many. This is watch. Yes. Hello. Yeah. I, I, I have watch one. Mm -mm. I have one. I have one watch. Very good. Yes. So thank you, Gilmore. Now, Fatima. I want you to ask your question to Eric. How many pencils do you have? Very good. Eric? I have five pencils. Very good. Thank you, Fatima. Now, Eric, I want you to ask your question to Salvador. Salvador, have, uh, how many computers do you have? Excellent. I have yeah, five, five. Five, comp five computers. Very good. I have five computers. Very nice, Salvador. Now I want you to ask your question to Amilcar. Amilcar, how many hours do you work today? Okay, very good. How, how many hours do you work in the day? Okay, how many hours do you work in the day? I, I have uh, 10, 10 hours of time. Uh, repeat it again, Amilcar. I didn't listen to you. It's a lot of Yes, yes. Correcto. Correcto. I, I work uh, 10, 10 hours. 10 hours. Ooh. Ah, yeah, right. You work in the call center. Yeah, that's true. 10 hours. <laughs> you had to work 10 hours if you want two days off, right? Day off, yes. If you have eight hours, you only have one day. Is that true? Yes. Ah, true. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Salvador. Now, Amilcar, I want you to ask your question to Jonathan. Uh, how many uh, fans uh, do you have? Uh, repeat, please. How many fans do you have? Yeah, how many pants do you have? Pants. Pantalones. I have one pants. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. ¿Cuántos pantalones tiene? 
Ah. <laughs> Only one? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I, I, I have a farm. Ah, okay. Very good. Very nice. Ah, pues yo no like me, Jonathan. Pero no es como yo. Me puse, me puse en dieta hace año y medio. Me puse en dieta. Bajé 40 libras. Listen up. Bajé 40 libras. Y luego empecé a comprar ropa, lo loco. Yo was like, I have a good body and everything. You know, estómago plancito and everything. Y después de la pandemia, ah, no me queda nada de esa ropa. Nothing, man. Nothing. Sí, Pero la la Dejó las pupusas. Sí. Me too, teacher. Ya, yeah, eso es triste. Tuve que dejar el pan dulce. Tuve que reducirle al café. No, 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 no lo quité, obviamente, porque no, es imposible. Pero tuve que reducirlo a, um, let's see, what else? No sodas, no jugos enlatados, no tanto carbohidrato. That's it. Y con, ¿qué? Hora y media de ejercicio todos los días. En tres meses, 40 libras. Ya. Yeah. Se siente horrible, pero... Eh. Con esfuerzo se logra. Es cierto, pero el café, o sea, sí, de lo que es el café y la gaseosa, increíblemente, baja de uno, ¿sí? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yes. Algún día voy a volver a intentarlo. The coffee too? Ah, no, no, no. The no. coffee I, too? I didn't reduce the coffee, no. Me dijeron, tienes que reducir el café para poder rebajar. Nah, mejor no rebajo. <laughs> no, what I did it is like... No, lo que hice fue que, que ya no le echaba azúcar. Generalmente le echo poco azúcar, pero ahí zero azúcar. Right? That's why. Normal. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Milk, uh, Jonathan. So thank you, Milka. Jonathan, I want you to ask your questions to Nubia. Uh, how, many, how many people construction a house? Uh... Uh, okay, repeat the question. How many people construction a house? Uh, in that case, the word it will be build. En vez de construction, necesitamos un verbo ahí, Jonathan. Y el verbo sería build. Se escribe build. No sé por qué no me abre el chat acá para poderlo escribir. Me voy. All right. How many people? Repita la pregunta, por favor. Y en vez de construction, póngale el, el, el verbo build. How many people build a house? Very good. Um, eh, puede escribir como se... Ah, mándeme un mensaje acá a través de Zoom. No sé por qué no puedo abrir la, el, el chat de Zoom. Eso estoy intentando. Okay. No me parece. Es, eh, mande un mensaje, por favor. Deja que aparece la ventanita. Please. Uh, eight people build uh, the house. A house. Uh, a house. Very good. Very good. Yeah. All right. Did you send a text, uh, Jonathan? Perdón. Mandé un mensaje a, a, a Zoom, al chat de Zoom, para ver si me abre la ventanita. Okay, Nubia. I want you to ask your question to Fatima. Okay, Fatima. How many slices of pizza do you eat? Uh, repeat, please. How many slices of pizza do you eat? Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, what, you know uh, what is a slice, uh, Fatima? No, no sé. Pedazos de pizza, de los, de los, la pizza uh, viene, viene dividida, ok? Slice uh, is one, one piece. I, I slice. I eat. I, I eat two slices of pizza. Of pizza. Of pizza. Really? Only two? Yes, teacher. La dieta, me too, me too. Me too. 
Ay, Eso. Preguntémosle a, a Mrs. Surrutia. Mrs. Surrutia, ¿cuánto se come usted? Only two. <risa> That's what you think. That's what you say. Sí. No. Y solitas en la casa toda la pizza. <risa> Completa. <laughs> no. yes. okay. no. Thank you, Nubia. All right, Fatima, I want you to ask your question to Carla. Okay, Carla. How many computers do you have? I have one computer. Okay, all right, nice. Thank you, Fatima. Now, Carla, ask a question to Rosa del Carmen. Okay. Rosa, how many pencils do you have in your desk? Uh, repeat, How many pencils do you have on your desk? I have two pencils. Eh, la última palabra no se la escuché bien. Desk. Desk. In the desk. I have two pencils in my desk. Okay. On my desk. Sobre. Remember the prepositions? Okay. Oh, my Sobre. Okay. Good. Now, Rosa, I want you to ask your questions to Carlos Eduardo. How many pairs do you have? How many? How many chairs? Chairs? Do you have? Okay, chairs. And I have shirt, shirts, brother. Uh, yeah. Four, four, four shirts in my house. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Rosa. Now, uh, Carlos, I want you to ask your question to Tomar. Okay. How many general reports in the world? Perdón. How many general reports in the world? How many general reports? Of many general reports. Mm -hmm. in, in that case, in that case, let's let's put a verb, Carlos. Example: How many general reports do you do? For example, ¿cuántos reportes generales hacen? Okay. In your work. Okay. Repeat the question. How many general reports do you do in your work? Excellent. Okay, uh, I do one reports every day. Ah, okay, very okay. good, Gilmar. Good. Gilmar, I want you to ask your question to William. Uh, how many... Um, How many siblings? Yes. In your family. Uh -huh. Oh, how many siblings do you have? Do you have? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> how many siblings do you do you have? Okay. Um I have. Three, three brothers. Three brothers. Brothers and no yes. sisters. Uh huh. Brothers. Ah, okay. Very, very good. Yeah. Only, en ese caso, only brother. Very good. En ese caso, sí, podemos responder así. Uh, three brothers. Siblings, generalmente es hermanos y hermanas. Ok. Eh, cuando vamos a preguntar cuántos hermanos tienes, pero cuando incluimos hermanos y hermanas, no sería brothers en la pregunta, sería siblings. La palabra siblings, ¿ok? Pero si okay. solo tenemos hermanos, hermanos, así como William, 
Entonces ahí sí podemos responder con brothers, like, like he did it. Take care. How right. do you spell sibling? S-I-B-L-I-N-S. Siblings. Okay. Very good. Thanks. Okay, nice. All right, William, I want you to ask your question to Natalie, Vanessa. Okay. Uh, how many books do you have? Very good. In your house. Very good. ¿Cuántos qué? Books. Books. Ah, books. I have... Uh, ten books in my house. Okay, very good. Thank you, William. Now, Natalie, I want you to ask your question to Mrs. Rutia. <laughs> Ay, no, no nos haga eso. No quiere hacer peleado. <laughs> Con algo que vos querés mucho, Stephanie. <laughs> ah, okay. How many dogs in the do you have? <laughs> How many dogs? How many? Dogs. Do you have? How many chuchitos? Mm. Chuchitos. <laughs> ¿Cuántos perros tenés? I don't have any dogs. <laughs> ah, ajá. Okay. I don't have any dogs. I hate dogs. <laughs> ah. Hey, why? I don't know. I don't like the animals. Y oh, tiene God. uno bien bonito, a creer. Bien chulo. Really? Es sí. de mi hermano, no es mío. Ah, pero es más tuyo, solo ahí pasa. <laughs> Ay, no. Okay. Okay. Creí que hablaban de... Okay, okay, forget it. All right, good. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> no, <laughs> Stephanie, I want you to ask your question to... Let me see who's missing. Mm, Ana María. Hi, Ana María. Finally, Ana María is here. Vino tarde para no Richard, practicar con su computador. Richard, yes. eh, ando con las baterías bajas. Ayer, de tanto que hablamos de su migraña, hoy tengo migraña. Don't worry. ¿Sabe qué? Yo también así ando con un enorme y hermoso dolor de cabeza. <risa> But anyways. Ok. Please. Yo hago una pregunta. No, no Mrs. Mm. Rutia is going to ask you a question to you. Okay, Ana Maria, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Pairs of shoes. Uh -huh. How many? Pairs of shoes do you have? What is a pair? Pares de zapatos. Pares de zapatos. I love, ay, qué bonita pregunta. Uh, I have, eh, uh, Ten or twelve pairs shoes. Okay. okay. <laughs> casi, casi estoy dándole la cantidad <laughs> porque podrían ser más. <laughs> well, okay. Así ah, somos las mujeres. unos cuantos no Sí, no. Exactly. Sí. Porque no son y para tan... ocupar el mismo par. ¿Por qué no son tan prácticas como juro. la mayoría de hombres? Tres, dos, máximo. No. No, ah, bueno, no yo creo hay, que hay, ya hay tengo 15 más. pares. Y siento oh, que God. no tengo todavía. Me falta. Y yo, como me quedé trabajando en casa, se me arruinaron algunos pares y los tuve que botar. Porque ¿Por no? no los utilizo. Porque no se los ponen la, la, para andar en la casa. Ay, teacher, ¿cómo me voy a poner los zapatos para andar en casa? Pues sí, así no se le arruinan. Trapeando en tacones. Exactly. A, a botar la basura ahí de, en high heels. That's, that's a good option. Ok, Ana María, I want you to ask the last question, I think, to, let's see, Romeo. Ya, yeah, Romeo no ha participado, este Romeo anda bien callado. Romeo, how many um, um, balls? No. 
Permítame. How many uh, shoes, ah. pair of shoes, pairs of shoes do you have? How many uh, pairs of shoes do you have? Mm -hmm. Interesante have... saber cuántos pares tiene un hombre de zapatos. Mm, I have five shoes. Really? You have five? Okay, nice. I just only I just only have two, man. The formal okay. the, the formal one and a pair of sneakers. That's it. You know oh. what are, what are sneakers, right? Okay. No, 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 Roxana, and Rosa del Carmen, are you there? Okay, turn, turn on the, the cameras. Ah, there you go. Ahora sí, eh. You see, you, you look very excellent to do that. Oh, Romeo, ask the question to Roxana. We're going to end up um, the practice there. Okay. Uh, how many notebooks do you have? Okay, how many notebooks do you have? Uh... How many? ¿Qué Not, es lo que? Notebooks, cuadernos. Notebooks. Ah, how many books? Sería, I, I have books. Notebooks. Um, I have. Uh, I have. Three not, notebooks, four notebooks, five notebooks, one notebook. Um, three, three, five notebooks. Notebooks. Okay. Very good. Joanny, did you participate? I see you are with the camera off. Have you participated already, Joanny? No, teacher. Ah, yeah. You're the last one. Okay, Jesenia, I want you to ask the last question to Joanny. Roxana? Okay, okay. Um, Sería... Oh, okay, okay, okay. How, how many times? Eh, how many times? Eh, Roxana, you... Roxana. Hola. En este, en este caso estamos usando el how many, pero con cosas que podemos contar. How many cell phones? How many computers? How many books? All right. En este caso con, con vocabulario que podamos contar. Ya el how many times es de la, digamos, del tema pasado. Y ahí es cuántas veces. Acá es cuántas, pero en cosas. ¿Ok? ¿Cuántas cosas? Uh, sería how many. How many. Uh -huh. how y después many... un nombre contable. Ok. How many bananas. Uh -huh. uh, how many bananas. Uh, Do you? Ate you. Do you eat? Do you eat? Ok. How many bananas uh -huh. do you eat? Joanny? I I eat two bananas. Ah, okay. Very good. Yes. Now, Joanny, <laughs> to end up the cycle, I want you to ask one question to me. Um, how many houses do you? How many houses? Do you? Do you? Do, do you have? Ah, do you have? <laughs> ah, okay. Very good. I have two houses. Yes. Okay. Very nice. So that's for questions in first person using how many. Okay. Bien. Ya vamos a ver un poco sobre las terceras personas utilizando how many. Y luego vamos a pasar a los usos de how much. Pero antes de ello voy a dejar de compartir un momento porque voy a pasar asistencia. Okay. Me sí, asistencia. Chef, una pregunta. Yeah. Tell me. Um, este, a mí se me cortó un rato el inter porque se fue la luz. Um, solo la la guía positiva que tiene ahorita es la que estuvo explicando o sí, sí, otra sí. anterior no 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 no, no. Es, es, es esta es sí es esta porque hemos ah, estado con la solo práctica la voy a, okay solo la voy a agarrar captura entonces Ok, perfecto okay. gracias Ticha Ok, perfecto give me a second I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to pass the attendance list
internet is lacking. Give me a moment, please. Let's see. Amilcar Gustavo. Present. Ah, okay, good. Ana Claribel. Okay, Ana is not here. Ana Maria. Present. Ah, okay, perfect. Carlos Eduardo. Present. Okay, perfect. Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Stephanie Janet. Present. Okay, nice. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Okay, excellent. Delmar Cruz. Present. Excellent. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan. Present. Ah, okay. Thank you. Carla Benazir. Present. Excellent. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay, excellent. Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Excellent. Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, perfect. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Perfect. Roxana Yesenia. Present. Excellent. Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Stephanie Adeline. Is no here. Stephanie Lisette. Stephanie Lisette. Mrs. Urrutia, are you there? Pues no le había quitado el mute. Oh my God. <laughs> Y usted así como que, present, teacher, present. Y nada, nada, man. Y más con la cámara apagada. Oh, my God. That's why. Lo siento. <ríe> William Alberto. Present. Ah, ok, very good. And the last one, Joanny Noemi. Present. Ok, very good. So, let's teacher. continue. Mm, yeah, tell me. Acaba de recibir un piropo de acá. ¿Y eso? Mi mamá dice que es bien guapo. Ah, dígale que muchas gracias. <ríe> Me dice, es que la voz es bien suavecita. Ah, pero cuando nos peleamos, no, le digo yo. <ríe> Ey, no, no le esté poniendo chambres de mí. Yo soy, yo soy bien, bien, bien amable. Usted es la que busca pelea conmigo. <ríe> Como todo buen miguelenio, ¿verdad, teacher? Exacto. Hospitalario acá, de con salsita negra, todo lo que coma. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Dígale que gracias a, a su mami. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got that how much? Okay, with um, first person things. Now let's do it in third person. Okay. Um, Nuya, help me out reading this question, please. How many books does she need? Ah, okay, very good. Listen up. How many books does she need? Ya este tipo de horas de preguntas ya están en tercera persona, okay? Does she need? Very good. Mrs. Urrutia, the answer? She needs three books. Very good. She needs three books, you see? Entonces ahí colocamos el, el subject, que en este caso sería she, luego el verbo con la S respectiva, remember, en tercera persona, she needs three books, ¿ok? Y ahí pues al final ya es la cantidad, ¿ok? La que se coloca, ¿ok? The, 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 the quantity that we are asking for. Very good. Uh, let me see. Eh, el, simbol, el signo de interrogación es... es Falta ahí al final, ¿ok? De esa pregunta. Salvador, read it, please. I'm going to put it later. Pónganle el símbolo si lo escriben, por favor. So many cell phones does she buy every year? Ok, very good. How many cell phones does he buy every year? ¿Cuántos teléfonos compra? Ok, cada año. Okay, Jonathan, read the answer. 
He buys two cell phones every year. Very good. He buys two cell phones every year. So in that case, if you take a look, the verb buy, we got the S. Ahí el verbo buy ya lo tenemos con S, okay? With the, with the S. Remember, these type of questions are in third person, okay? Y aquí es cuando estamos usando la tercera persona. Okay, copy that, and then we're going to move into the, to, into the other topic. That in this case, it's going to be how much. Bien. Perfect. Recordemos, y lo voy a decir en español para que lo entendamos eh, mm -hmm. de mejor manera. How many es con nombres contables en plural, okay? Toda pregunta que hagamos con how many va a ser con nombres que podamos contar y que estén en plural, ok, acá no podemos preguntar sobre una cosa y simplemente sea en singular ok, no podemos decir how many cell phone ok, sin la S la palabra cell phone, acá tiene que ser en plural how many cell phones ok, how many computers how many jobs you see, todos los los, los noun que usemos en este tipo de preguntas tienen que ser en plural good Let's move on. Okay, now, the uses of how much. When do we use how much? This is pretty simple and easy. When we use how much, and in parentheses, we got price. Okay, price. Okay, for the people who knows what the word price is, in that case, we're talking about money, okay? Money. And it says, let's see who can help me out reading. Amilcar, help me out reading, please. Can, how much can also be used when we want to price of something. Mm -hmm. In this case, we can use how much with countable uh, nouns about singular and plural nouns, example. Okay, good. ¿Qué nos quiere decir todo este apartado? Listen up. Que cuando usamos how much, generalmente es cuando preguntamos el precio de algo. Ok. El precio de algo. Pero generalmente how much es lo opuesto. Ok. Es lo opuesto a how many. How many es para cosas que nosotros podemos contar. Ok, preguntas con cosas que podemos contar. How much es con cosas que no podemos contar. Ok, generalmente utilizamos uncountable nouns. Ok, generalmente usamos nombres no contables. Ok, we got an example. Ok, cuando preguntamos sobre los precios de algo, recordemos, aunque podamos contar todo el dinero del mundo, la palabra money, la palabra dinero, es algo incontable, ¿ok? Es una palabra incontable en inglés. So if you say the word money, that is uncountable now. Es un nombre no contable, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque no podemos decir un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros, ¿ok? That, that would be weird. That's why when we ask about the price of something, por eso, cuando preguntamos el precio de algo, generalmente no usamos how many, usamos how much, ¿ok? Aunque responderemos con algo contable, que en este caso sería el precio de lo que se está preguntando. Tal es el caso de, how much is that painting? ¿Cuánto cuesta esa pintura? ¿Sí? see, how much is that painting? The answer, Fatima, read it. It is $10. Very good. It is $10. You see, en este caso eh, respondemos con algo que podemos contar, ¿ok? We're talking about the price. Estamos hablando ahí del precio de la pintura. Porque, uh, let's see, uh, I want to... Uh, Rosa, don't be sleeping. Rosa. Dígame, ¿por qué tengo it al principio de la respuesta de esta pregunta? Porque se está refiriendo a un objeto, no a una persona. 
Ah, ok, very good, Rosa. Muy bien, en este caso, para evitarme escribir la palabra painting otra vez en la respuesta, simplemente omitimos la palabra painting y ponemos it. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque si no dijéramos, the painting is ten dollars. ¿Ok? La pintura cuesta diez dólares o vale diez dólares, ah, como nosotros decimos. Ok, so, entonces el it reemplaza la palabra painting. So, it is $10 and that's it. Nice. Another question, Gilmore. Read it. How much are those shoes? Okay. How much are those shoes? Very good. In here, ok, acá ya estamos hablando, ok, ya estamos de, preguntando el precio de algo, ¿ok? En plural. ¿Ok? La primera pregunta es algo en singular. ¿Ok? Acá ya son preguntas, ya es una pregunta en plural. ¿Ok? How much are those shoes? Pero si ven, tiene un mismo objetivo. ¿okay? Preguntar por el precio de algo. ¿Ok? Nice. Let's see. How much are those shoes? Let's see who can help me out answer. Carlos, help me out with the, with the answer. They are 15. 25. Ah, okay. They are 25. Uh, how do you say? Okay. Uh, okay, listen up. Uh -huh. they, they are 25 dollars. N50 cents. N50 cents, exacto. Ok, yeah, 50 cents. Ahí tuve un. <laughs> Una laguna mental. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ok, perfect. So, in that case, they are $25.50. cents. Ok, very good. Yeah. Teacher. Yes, very good. Thank you, Carlos. So, en este caso acá, si ven, ya la respuesta también es en plural, pero igual estamos dando el precio de algo que nos están preguntando, ¿ok? En plural. Example of it. Carlos, how much is that cup? How much is that cup? Eh... I don't remember. Okay, give me give me a general price, a price. Don't worry. $25. Okay, it is it is $25. Very good. It is $25, right? That's the answer. Okay, very good. Entonces ahí estamos preguntando el precio de algo, okay? No simplemente se puede eh, utilizar el how much con cosas de precio. También lo podemos utilizar en otros aspectos. Como por ejemplo, las cantidades de algo que podemos tomar o podemos utilizar para otros aspectos como la cocina. Por ejemplo, how much oil do you need to cook? ¿Cuánto aceite necesita para cocinar? You see? En este caso, ya, ya ahí ya nos estamos preguntando el precio, ¿ok? O oh, how much water do you drink? Okay. ¿Cuánto de agua o, o cuánta agua consume? Okay. How much water do you drink? Ahí, vamos, ahí sí vamos a responder um, utilizando la palabra ya sea glasses of water o bottles of water, botellas con agua. Okay. Example, how much water do you drink? Ah, I drink a bottle of water. You see? That case. Entonces ahí ya podemos utilizar Digamos, o podemos responder con cosas okay, a, que inclusive podemos contar, porque ya las, las botellas con agua sí ya las podemos contar. Okay? In that aspect. But remember, not only for the price. Good. Hasta acá, ¿tenemos alguna duda con respecto a cómo usar how much? Something that might not be clear. Or oh, everything is, is okay. Okay. Hmm. It's 
peaceful silence this time. Perfecto. That's what do I like. Nobody says something. Teacher. Ah, okay. Tell me. Uh, what difference in tell uh, how much beer do you drink? Or how many beer do you drink? Ah, in that case, how many beers? En este caso, how many beers? Aquí ya estamos preguntando de cuántas, de cuántas, cuántas cervezas, ¿ok? En total, cosas que podemos contar, ¿ok? En sí, cuántas cervezas toma. Pero ahí estamos preguntando sobre el contenido de cada lata o de cada botella, ¿ok? Con how many. Y con how much, en este caso, estamos preguntando por la cerveza en sí, el líquido. ¿Cuánta cerveza? ¿Ok? Y ahí lo que podemos responder es, generalmente lo podemos hacer con, con a lot of beer, como mucha cerveza, ¿ok? O poca cerveza. Entonces ahí estamos preguntando por el contenido en sí, en este caso por el líquido, con how much. Y con how many ya es por ya sea las latas de cerveza o cuántas o las botellas. ¿Ok? Sí. That is the difference. Uh, one gallon. <laughs> ok, you see? Exactly. Teacher, y se podría decir how much tequila shot o eh, sería how many no, en este caso cuando decimos how much con tequila sería how much tequila do you drink si ya mencionamos mm. la palabra shot ya sería how many tequila shots mm -hmm. porque los okay. podemos contar ok We can count them. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Hmm. Palabras mayores, Stephanie. Palabras sí, mayores. Estoy preparando para ah. preguntar una fiesta. Ah. No voy a hacer de chupedrismo, comida, qué rápido. Ah. Ahora ya sé cómo lo voy a utilizar. Mentira. Ah. <risa> no pida poquito Bien. de pupuse porque está fregado. Bien. No vaya a ser que cuando vaya allá por San Salvador y vea una personita allí en la incunetada, dormida, y dice, Stephanie, ¿es usted? ¿Qué te pasó? No, dices, ¿Qué, ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Qué les has contado, Negrita? Mira, Natalia. Nada. Yo Natalia, ayer ni me conecté. Natalia ha dicho muchas cosas. No, teacher. Ajá, no el lunes mejor. que no me conecté, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. No, ese día solo nos presentamos diciendo. todos. Dijimos nuestros nombres nada más. Ah. <laughs> ok. All right, let's move on. Let's continue. Ok, we got some extra questions in here. Um, let's see. Rosa, read, please. How much does his jacket cost? Very good. Ya este tipo de preguntas acá con how much y el does y al final el verbo cost, esta es la pregunta más formal que podemos hacer sobre el precio de algo. ¿Ok? Esta es la más formal. Con el verbo to be, utilizando is o utilizando are, es, es correcto, pero es un tanto informal. ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando queremos preguntar sobre el precio de algo y queremos ser bien formal, es este tipo de pregunta. ¿Ok? How much does his jacket cost? ¿Cuánto cuesta su chaqueta? ¿Ok? Sí. Es el mismo significado. ¿Ok? Solo que con diferente estructura. Natalie, read it. Eh, it costs... Eh, 40, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. 40. <laughs> $40. Forty dollars. $40, ok, very good. It costs forty dollars. Si ven, ya la, el verbo cost ya va. Ya vio que respuesta. se tomó la shot, ¿verdad? Yes. <risa> yeah, nice. No, es que ustedes hablan. No, yo no tomo. Ustedes, yo no tomo. Ustedes hablan bien fino de, 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 de tequila shots. Acá pura chicha. Y chaparro. <risa> La traición. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, Eso no es de Dios, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Ok, let's continue. Uh, next question. Let me see. Who... Romeo. Insisto, Romeo está bien callado. 
Read, Romeo. Um, how much is the address on this play in the windows? Okay, very good. How much is the dress on this plate in the window? Okay, ¿cuánto cuesta el vestido que está en, en, en la ventanilla? Que se está mostrando en la ventanilla o en la ventana. O vitrina, si van a say. Carla, read the answer. It costs $70. Okay, it costs $70. Okay, very good. Nice. So in that case, this is this is the model of how to ask questions using how much, okay? Generally, we ask those type of things about the price. Good. Um, I don't know if you have any question. Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá? Oh, everything is fine. Hmm, okay. I think everything is fine. Good. What are we gonna do now? Listen up. Esta pequeña conversación la tenemos en el manual, okay? This is on the page taken up, uh, uh, in, from the manual. What are we gonna do with this? Vamos a practicarla un poco, okay? That's what we're gonna do like right now. Then we're gonna do a short practice, but in here, okay? We're not going to divide, the, um, we're not going to divide the, 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 the things as we have been doing before. Ahora lo vamos a hacer acá, no lo vamos a poner a practicar en pequeñas, en pequeñas secciones. Okay, because we need to move on. Uh, this is a conversation between Joss and Ruth. Okay, voy a leer la conversación una vez. Si tenemos alguna duda en cuanto al vocabulario que aparece acá, después de leer la conversación, por favor me lo hacen saber. Okay, voy a leerla una vez. Y ahí con los micrófonos apagados pueden ayudarme con la lectura. Okay, this is a conversation between Ruth and Josh. And it says, listen up. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Do you have paid vacations at your job? And it says, just, yes, I do, Ruth. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? How about you? And it says, Ruth, me too. Me too. I have paid vacations. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? How many days do you have in your vacations? And it says, Josh, 20 days to be exact. 20 days to be exact, okay? How many bonuses, listen up. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? Do you have per year, Ruth? And it says, Ruth, I have four bonuses. I have four bonuses. What about you? What about you? And how much do you receive? And how much do you receive? And he says, Josh, I have just two. I have just two, but each bonus, but each bonus is for more than 600, right? But each bonus is for more than 600. Very good. From here, from the conversation, 
Do you have any words that you do not understand? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no comprendamos del todo o estructura en la conversación? Teacher. Yes. En la última parte, I, I have just two. two batch each bonus y la, la última línea no escuché. Is for more than 600. More, 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 six, more, more than, than 600. 600. Yes, 600. Okay. Sí. Solamente tengo dos, dice, pero cada bono es por más de 600 dólares. Okay. Wow, queremos uno de esos chichas. Yeah. No desees ese trabajo para ahí. It's a teacher. Yes. Oh my God. Voy corriendo. Okay. Good. Now let's let, let's start up. Listen up. What are we gonna do with this conversation? Como me dicen que ya ya ya, ya entienden todas las palabras, okay? Y no es una palabra desconocida. Tell me, Rosa. What is bonuses? Bonuses, bonos. ¿Qué te parece bonos? bonos. Yeah, that's, that's the word, bonos. Okay. Por ejemplo, hay otra estructura. Sí. Hola, Stephanie. ¿Y qué significa per year? Per year. Per year. Per year significa por año. Um, por año. Ok. Ya, yeah, por año. Ok. Eh, por ejemplo, está, está otra, otra, por ejemplo, en, en la respuesta de Josh, en la segunda línea de la conversación, la primera, de hecho, de Josh, donde dice, Yes, I do. Ruth, how about you? ¿Cómo, eh, cómo entendemos esa, toda esa pregunta? How about you? Como, ¿Qué dices? ¿Acerca de ti o...? Solo son... Como regresándole la pregunta. En ese caso, simplemente hay dos... Todo eso se traduce en dos cositas en español. ¿Y usted? Exacto. ¿Y tú? ¿Y usted? ¿Y sí? How about you? ¿Y usted? ¿Y tú? Ok. Very good. Eso es básicamente como para regresar la pregunta. No volver a hacer la misma pregunta que nos han dicho. ¿Ok? Simplemente con how about you, ahí le está regresando la pregunta. Abajo también está otra. What about you? Es lo mismo, le está regresando la pregunta que le han hecho. ¿Ok? That's one. Very good. Now, now that we have understood those things, uh, let's start with the practice. Vamos a comenzar con una pequeña práctica de la conversación. Quiero escuchar a, uh, quiero escucharlos uh, en this, ¿ok? And for the first pair, I got Salvador. And uh, let's see, the next pair that is going to be with Salvador is going to be Jonathan. Ok, Salvador and Jonathan. Let's practice that conversation, please. Uh, 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 as you want. Hey, hey, George, I have a question for you. Do you have five vacations at your house? Yes, I do, Rod. How about you? Me too. I have five, five vacations. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20, uh, 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. What uh, bonus for more than six hundred? Uh, hundred, okay. $600 in that case. Very nice. Thank you, uh, Salvador. And thank you, Jonathan. Okay, now, Eric and Stephanie Janet. 
Ok, teacher. Comienza, Stephanie. Ok. Hey, Joyce. I have a question for you. Do you have pay by person at your house? Yes, I do, Ruth. Uh, how about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have used two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Very good, excellent, thank you. Eric, and thank you, Janet. Now, Fatima and Amilcar. Okay, comienzo yo, Amilcar. Hey, Joss, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Three days to the exact. How many, how many bonuses do you have per year? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than six one six hundred dollars. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Fatima. And thank you, Milka. You did it excellent. Now Nubia and Ana Maria. Hola, hola, Ana Maria. Hola. In, inicio yo. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, Jones. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Rod. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than six, 600. 600, very good. Thank you, Nuria, and thank you, Ana Maria. <laughs> now, uh, Stephanie, Urrutia, and Gilmore. Okay. okay. Hey, George. I have a question for you. Do you have paying vacation at your work? In your job? Yes, Sorry. yes, I do. How about you? Me too. I have a vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? How much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Excellent. Thank you, Tomer, and thank you. This is Rutia, she did it excellent. Roxana and Carlos Eduardo. Carlos Eduardo. Hello. Inicio. Okay. Hey, Jos. I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacation at, at your, your job? Home? Job. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be ex. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonus. 
what about you? And how much do you freeze? I have just two, but each bonus is for you more than 600. Okay, $600. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Roxana, and thank you, Carlos. You did it great. Rosa del Carmen and Carla de Nasir. Let's do it. Comienza, Rosa. Yo comienzo. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Rosa. How about you? Me too, I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many uh, bonus do you have per I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just to few good, good ish bonus is for more that fit hundred dollar. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Rosa, and thank you, Carla. You did a great. Now, Natalie and Joanny. Okay, empiezo yo, Juan. Me empiezo yo. Okay. Hi, hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do. Good. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year? Good. I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? Receive. 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 Okay, very good. I have just two, but age bonus is for more than a uh, 600. 600, all right, perfect. Thank you, Natalie, and thank you, Joanny. You did it great. Now, let's see who's missing. Mm. William and Romeo. Okay. Uh... Hey, George, I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have pay vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Very good. 20 days to be exact. How many bonus? Do you have per year? I have four bonus, but about you. Um, how much? How much do you do you receive? Receive. Receive. Very good. I have hoods too. Just but two. Just just two. Uh, but eight. A bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Okay, but each bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Okay, thank you, William, and thank you, Romeo. You did a great. Good. Now, uh, now that we have ended up the practice about this, about the uses of how much and how many. Okay, these ten minutes that are basically missing. Let's focus on the workbook. I mean, I'm talking the manual. Open up the manuals if you had them in your hands. Give me a second, I'm gonna stop sharing here. I am going to put up the manuals in here. Just give me a second. Let's go to page, give me a second. To page 14, okay. Go to page 14 in the manual. 
uh, specifically to this page. Probably on a Friday, we are going to finish the previous activities that we have from, from there, okay? Go straight to this page. If you see, uh, the conversation that we were practicing is this one. Esta es la conversación que hemos estado practicando, okay? It's taken from here. So uh, it says, all right, how often a vacation is your job? What are we gonna do here? Listen up. Estas son básicamente las expresiones para preguntar, ok, eh, sobre dineros, ok, para hablar sobre dinero. Las preguntas que básicamente hemos estado haciendo y hemos estado practicando. How much do they pay? ¿Cuánto pagan? Ok, how much do they pay? How much do they charge? ¿Cuánto cargan? Ok, pero cargo a, a, a de algo que uno paga, ok. Uh, how much is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much do they earn every month? ¿Cuánto ganan cada mes? Earn significa ganar, ¿ok? Cuando trabajamos y devengamos un salario, ¿ok? How much do they, I mean, do you earn every month? O, how much do you earn monthly? ¿Ok? Mensualmente. Okay, what are we gonna do with this information? This is a figure it out. Circle the words that best complete the questions. Acá lo que vamos a hacer es, son dos preguntitas bien sencillas. Okay, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Quiero que, si no tienen el workbook en físico, I mean, el manual en físico todavía, que me escriban en su cuaderno la pregunta de manera correcta. De estas dos preguntas, ¿Cuál de ellas utiliza how many y cuál how much? Por ejemplo, acá tenemos how much, how many do they pay? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta correcta? Much o many? Escríbanle en su cuaderno la respuesta correcta. Pay, teacher. Pay. What is pay? Pago. Exactly. Lo que usted le dan cada okay. mes por su trabajo. All right. Y luego una pregunta dos igual. How much, how many days do you have in your vacation? ¿Cuál es? ¿O ¿Con cuál complementa, complementamos la pregunta? ¿Con how much o how many? Ok, let's put it in there. If you have the money, only circle it. Ok, cuando ya hayan terminado acá, ok de poner la forma correcta para completar la pregunta, ¿qué vamos a hacer con esta información? Listen up, con esta vamos a terminar. Dice, use one of the questions above to complete the mini conversation. ¿Ok? Acá está la respuesta. ¿Ok? Está la respuesta. Acá lo que quiero es que escribamos las preguntas. ¿Ok? Quiero que creamos preguntas para estas respuestas. Ahorita terminé de, eh, el del 3. Al terminar eso hay que seguir con el 4. Yes, that's right. It says, use one of the questions about to complete the mini conversation. Dice acá, it is 10.50. Ah, podemos poner acá. Give me a second. Where is the... Vamos a hacer la primera. Vamos a levantar. Perfect. In question, in here. How much is that, sir? Okay. Let's put it like this. Okay, you see? How much yes. is that shirt? Okay, it is 10.50. Okay. Hagamos las demás. Acá. Acá. Sí, acá tenemos que tener cuidado porque aquí sí ya nos está pidiendo el, eh, aquí sí ya nos está, no estamos hablando del verbo. Miren, 
Acá este verbo lo van a tener que poner en la pregunta. Este verbo también va en la pregunta. Y este verbo también va en la pregunta. ¿Ok? Acá tenemos is en la pregunta porque acá en la respuesta tenemos is. ¿Ok? Let me know when you finish number two. Y la podemos anotar acá. Me notifican cuando hayan terminado la pregunta dos. And we can put it in here. Remember that you can do it in your notebook if you don't have the manual, right? La podemos estar haciendo en el, en el cuaderno si no tenemos el manual impreso todavía. That would be a good, a good way to do it. Just let me know when you finish. ¿Por cuál vamos ahorita? How many questions have you finished? Teacher, yo ya las hice, pero no sé si están bien. Ah, ok. Let's wait for the other ones to finish, ok? Sí. Okay, let's start doing it and let's see how much we have done good. Uh, Jonathan, can you please uh, read the question number two? How did it go? Jonathan? 
Perdón, yo no había activado el audio. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, how much make money a month? Ok, let's put it. Permítame. Ok, vamos a comenzar. Ajá. With how much. How much money? How much make money a month? Ah, ok. All right. En este caso, Jonathan, sería un poquito, un poquito, algunas palabras hay que cambiarles el orden. Ok. Por ejemplo, how much money? Como es pregunta. How much money do you make a month? Ajá. O podemos incluir también la palabra monthly, la que tenemos ahí, ¿ok? okay. Y la monthly. pregunta nos quedaría así. How much money do you make? Right? How much money do you make a month? O how much money do you make monthly? ¿Cuánto dinero haces al mes o mensualmente? Okay, when it talks about money. I make 545 monthly. You see, that's, that's, that's the payment. Entonces, eso es lo que hace en salario. Okay, good. Next question. Um, Carlos, how did you go with number three? La respuesta es, they take $25, I mean $23 per item. Ok, mm, bueno, yo le he puesto how much do they take per item. Ok, very good. Let's see. How much do they take? Do they take per item? Ok. Yeah, that's correct. How much, ok, do they take per item? Yeah, in this case, we're talking about the money, right? How much, o oh, ahí le podemos, para ser más específico, podemos decir how much money, ¿ok? Pero así es, es entendible también, ¿ok? How much do they take per item? ¿Ok? O oh, how much money do they take per item? No problem with that. Ok, and uh, the last one, William. The okay, answer uh... says, the company pays... 690 with bonuses. How much do you pay in your company? Do you pay in your company? Ah, okay. All right. Aunque ahí, 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 uh, William, sería como más que todo en tercera persona la pregunta. Fue como la respuesta dice, the company pays. La compañía paga. Ok, entonces, comenzamos bien. How much? Ajá. Ah, yo en esta okay. no está bien así. En la cuatro le puse así. A ver. How much does the company pay for overtime? That's the company. For overtime. Vaya, vamos a ver. How much does the does company, the company pay? pay for our time? Ok, ok, ok. But in this, in this case, eh, en este caso, listen up. Usted tiene la palabra overtime. ¿Sabe qué significa overtime? Por ejemplo. Ajá. Porque ahí está preguntando usted específicamente cuánto paga por horas extras. Entonces, si acá está dando un número, dice, the company pays with bonuses. Ok, tendría lógica, ok. Entonces, está, está correcta la pregunta, ok. Y también la podemos hacer, por ejemplo, how much does the company pay Bonus. with bonuses. Ok, también está correcta a uh, Janet, ok. Utilizando okay. la palabra overtime, That, that's correct. Okay. ok, y también, how much does the company pay with bonuses. Pero a veces son diferentes palabras. Yes. Ahí depende del tipo de pregunta que hagamos. La res, esta, este tipo de respuesta 
eh, se puede, puede ser usada con diferentes preguntas, ¿ok? Con diferentes tipos de preguntas. Por ejemplo, a la que hizo Janet, también está correcta, ¿ok? Eh, tenemos esta otra, how much does the company pay with bonuses? And it's still correct, ¿ok? So we can use them. Sí, es tan buena, pero es como donde trabajo hay diferentes tablas. O sea, tengo un bonus y también tengo el overtime, que son diferentes pagos. Por eso. Pero sí está buena la pregunta, pero allá eh, sí el bonus es diferente y overtime es otra cosa. Exacto. Y ahí es diferente. Exacto. Yes, there you go. Ajá. Por eso el, el, final, el final de la pregunta, el final de la respuesta dice con bonos. Ok. Uh -huh. También Ajá, la, la, hace la diferencia. Exacto. También podemos poner how much does the company pay? That's it. ¿Cuánto paga la compañía? Ah, la compañía paga 690 con bonos. Bonos. Yes. But bonuses. Ah, qué lindo es trabajar con bonos. Solo que a veces ponen sí. unas métricas tan lindas. Bueno, a mí el cargado de saber de ello. <risa> sí. Uh. So difficult to get a bonus. Especially when you work. que son especialmente bien recibidos. Yes, yes, that's true. Anyways. Nosotros los teachers, el único bonus que tenemos es cuando nos dicen, ah, qué buen teacher es. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> ok, good. Uh, any questions related to this? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá? With this? Because this is basically the whole thing that we're going to be doing. Ok, perfect. Si no tenemos ninguna pregunta, entonces permítanme, voy a dejar de compartir pantalla. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yeah. En la parte 3 faltaba que pusiéramos si era much. Ay, 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 that's true, that's true. Bien, en la primera pregunta tenemos how y luego tenemos much en many y luego tenemos do they pay. ¿Cuál es la correcta? Much o many? Para completar. Much. Ok, very good. En that case sería how much. Oh, how much do they pay? ¿Cuánto pagan? ¿Ok? How much do they pay? Y en la pregunta 2 tenemos How much and how many days do you have in your vacation? What is it, Nubia? Many. That's many. Not many. Okay. Exacto, porque ahí ya tenemos el, el noun después del, del, del how many tenemos la palabra days en plural. ¿Ok? How many days do you have in your vacations? That's great. Good. All right. In my case, I just have one week. Ah, uh, that's 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 not 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 that good. But anyways, let's leave it like that. Yes. Eh, en la en la dos también no sé si se puede formular de esta manera. Tell me. Yo la la había puesto como How much money do you make selling flowers monthly? How much money do you make? Selling. Selling. Flowers monthly. Ah, ok. Ah, y ahí está incluyendo el tipo de trabajo que hace. Sí, uh -huh. también uh -huh. se puede colocar. Ya, yeah, y también okay. es correcto. Ok. Very good. All right, nice. Nice, Janet. Good. Muy bien. Entonces voy a dejar de compartir. Give me a second. I'm going to stop here. Because I'm going to pass the attendance list. Vamos a pasar asistencia. And then we're going to. Uh, end up at the class because it's like 10 out 10. Amilcar Gustavo. Good. Amilcar, por cierto, ya que ayer no, 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 no pudo estar en la clase, ahora le van a tocar sus 10 minutos de feedback, ¿ok? Okay. All right. Uh, Ana Claribel. No, here, right? Sí, porque ayer eh, pasó Ana. Uh, Ana María. Present. All right. Carlos Eduardo. Present. Excellent. Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Nice. Stephanie Janet. Present. Ok. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Ah, ok. Very good. All right. Uh, Hilmar Cruz. Present. Ok. 
Excellent, Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan. Present. Ah, okay. Uh, Carla Benazir. Present. Excellent. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Good. Nubia Zulema. Present. Very good. Romeo Alexis. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Let's see. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Excellent. Roxana Yesenia. Roxana, where is Roxana? All right, I think she, she disconnected. Okay, Stephanie Adeline is not here. Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay, very good. Ah, ok, Carlos, gracias por acordarme. Nomás termine la clase y la voy a compartir, ok. Um, William Alberto, no here. And the last one, Joanny Noemi. Present. present. Ah, ok, perfect. Who says present? Ok, thank you, Joanny. All right. Ok, teacher. Salvador Alfonso, ya, yeah, I think I mentioned you, man. Let me see. Yes, Salvador Alfonso. Sí, ya lo tengo acá. Con la tercera asistencia. Peter William. Where is William? William, William. Present William. Ah, yeah, William. I thought you were living. Let me see. Yeah, I, ya lo puse William en la tercera. Okay. Yeah, William Alberto. Yeah. I got you there. Okay. okay. Nice. nice. Okay. Sure. Yes. Could you tell use the day with health as units? Which one? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't listen. ¿Qué día? No puede decir qué día nos toca los diez minutos. Ah, perfecto. En su caso, Joe Mar, give me a second. Le va a tocar. Mm, let me see. I'm just checking. Gilmore le va a tocar el Ah, usted le va a tocar el 15 de julio. <laughs> okay. Falta bueno. tiempo todavía, okay? So okay, no okay, problem yeah. about that. Sí, usted va a ser el 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 antepenúltimo. No, el okay. penúltimo. Very el penúltimo. good. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Este, mire con respecto a las tareas que nos pone en las discusiones. Ajá. Es como fíjese que yo, o sea, no me cansa el tiempo, ¿va? y no me da tiempo de hacerlas. Las puedo hacer todas el fin de semana, no hay inconveniente con eso. ¿El fin de semana? Sí, pero de la, las que pone usted en las discusiones. Mm, the, the discussion things. Ah, um, yes. ok. Le, let, me, let me see what I can do. And you can do it, okay? By that time. Yeah, because it's, it's, it would be really important for you to do it every day, but if you don't have time. Pero las tareas, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, eso sí las, sí las voy a hacer, pero la de discusión no me alcanza el tiempo. All right, but on, week, on weekdays, I need the homeworks, all right? The homeworks from the platform. Okay. Good. For the, for the rest, please try to do the, the I mean, the discussions. Porque, ajá, si nos dejamos acumular las cinco discussions, será como que les quita un poco más de tiempo, ¿ok? Y así, pues, digamos, van un poco más desahogados con cada una de las short discussions. No se necesita de mucho y con las tareas. Muy bien, no sé si tenemos alguna pregunta antes de retirarnos con relación al tema que hemos estado discutiendo. ¿No? Perfecto. Muy bien, entonces, hagan la tarea, hagan la discusión que les va a quedar. Hey, nos vemos mañana, ok? Have a wonderful night. Night. Bye. bye bye. Se me queda Milcar. Ay, yo night. voy a compartir bye, la presentación. Bye bye. 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 <ríe> Pórtese bien. <ríe> Ay, no me diga eso. Ok. <ríe> bye, Tito. Ok, bye bye. All right, give me a second.
Let's see. Jonathan, are you there? Okay, perfect. Amilcar, let's do it. Uh, we're gonna have, a, it is 10, 16. We're gonna have 10 minutes uh, for us to talk about something that probably it is not completely clear for you with these classes. I don't know if you have any questions. Exacto, ahí sí tenemos que dar a uh, números exactos en cuanto a how many. Ahí depende de lo que vamos a preguntar, así es el tipo de respuesta que vamos a obtener. Ajá, y siempre pues recordando que eh, el tipo de nombre que utilicemos, el down, tiene que ser siempre en plural cuando usamos el how many, siempre. Ok. okay. Pensé que básicamente how many significa cuántos, entonces el nombre, el noun que pongamos en la pregunta tiene que ser plural. Uh -huh. Por eso ahí decíamos how many houses, how many cell phones, how many computers, right? Todos esos nouns tienen que ir en plural. They have to con plural. Independientemente si la respuesta sea singular. Exactamente, independientemente que la respuesta sea singular. Yes. It doesn't matter. Si yo le pregunto, how many cars? La palabra cars sería el noun, ya va en plural. How many cars do you drive? ¿Cuántos carros maneja? Ah, usted me puede decir una, una oración en singular. I drive one car. You see? That is singular. Right? But the question is always plural. Ah, ok. Y con el, el match, ahí es que... Cuando estamos hablando de shift y cuando estamos, eh, por ejemplo, cuando estamos hablando de, de, de any y en plural, porque estaba como medio estaba, eh, buscando un poco las cosas ahí, ¿no? y pues había en algunas, por ejemplo, donde yo, yo puse un ejemplo, eh, how many shirts do you make, por ejemplo, eh, la número dos, pero no sé si estaba correcta. How many shirts eh, do you make? Yes. Ajá, esa, esa ya es cosas que podemos contar, ¿ok? Entonces, por eso usamos el how many. How many shirts, with plural, do you make? Ajá, en ese caso, ajá. Ahí ya damos un número exacto en cuanto a respuesta. Por ejemplo, I make four shirts. ¿Sí? The answer is countable, using countable. Ah, ok. Ah, ok, very good. Very good. Y como lo mencionábamos también en, con, con how much, también podemos utilizar otro tipo de, de, de digamos, de, de, de ámbitos, no solamente en cuanto a, a preguntar sobre precios. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, how much water do you drink? Ok, how much water do you drink? Usted me puede responder, I drink eight glasses of water. Uh, okay. Quiere ser bien específico. I drink three gallons of water. You see? Sí se puede poner entonces galones y todo. Yes. Ajá, en este caso, en este caso, podemos hacer la pregunta con how much y igual si podemos responder con este tipo de, ajá, de estructuras así. Ya si ya ah. quiere preguntar, ya si en la pregunta usted hace con galones, ahí sí ya es usando how many, ya no usaríamos how much. Ejemplo de ello, how many gallons all right, of water do you drink? Ok, ahí sí estamos preguntando por galones, algo que podemos contar. 
¿Ok? No específicamente por el agua en sí. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso es que usamos el how many. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Eso era Ah, ok. Very good. Very good. Um, con la, 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 la clase de ayer, uh, I don't know if you have checked it. No sé si checó el, 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 el tema, the, the topic Oye. that we were discussing. Sí, la ayer lo sé bien con eso. No oí nada porque ya vi un mes hasta como las diez y media estaba acá. Eh, mm. Porque sí, no se puede viajar de loco. <ríe> eso fue me agarró un familiar y esperábamos estar temprano, de hecho. Pero sí me agarró la tarde y tenía apenas por San Miguel y fui hasta la Unión. Uf. Entonces, ya está aquí. Oh. Yo iba a estar en hora y media, pero como lo difícil fue que estaba lloviendo por tramos. Había zonas donde estaba inundado, entonces me tocaba pasar mucho espacio y así. O sea, ya se me hizo difícil. Y más, si, y más si viajó por la Panamericana. Sí, me tocó ahí precisamente. Oh. Entonces, sí, o sea, era, era, era caos. O sea, como el carrito cuando un carrito pequeño. Entonces, como... Ahí me me hubiese tocaba, salido como, más sí. fácil venirse acá por la litoral. Ah, eso Digamos que de noche, de noche es más fácil, es más solo. Ah. Ajá, y así no hay, no hay tramos donde se puede inundar. Bueno, cuando no llueve tan seguido, digamos que no llueva todos los días, ahí no hay tramos que se puedan inundar y es más, es, no es, es menos concurrido que la Panamericana. Ya. Yeah. Y uno por la costumbre de estar algo directo. Ajá, Pero yeah. sale más, más caro a la larga. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, that's true. Sale un poco más, más ajá, con cuanto a tiempo. That's true. Sí, no, ya, ya hoy, hoy sí, de, de hecho, iba a quedarme así viendo eso. Porque sí, ayer andaba ya bien cansado. Yes, I know. I know, that would be difficult. No, en realidad lo que estuvimos viendo fueron las preposiciones, a I mí, mean, expresiones de tiempo. Cuando utilizar ah, okay. um, uh, uh, how many times, cuántas veces. Generalmente hablamos de las pre, uh, expresiones de tiempo every day, every week, every month, every year, ¿ok? Weekly, monthly, yearly, right? Básicamente eh, para hablar sobre qué tan a menudo nosotros hacemos la, uh, actividades, digamos, diarias o actividades en nuestro trabajo, ¿ok? Entonces, básicamente de eso fue que trató, eh, digamos así, por decirlo así, el tema de ayer, ¿ok? So, that's basically, estuvimos viendo también un poco sobre los uh, adverbios de frecuencia, que son igual necesarios para mencionar qué tan frecuentemente nosotros hacemos una actividad. Ah, por ejemplo, tenemos, eh, eh, teníamos ahí los... El, el, los adverbios, por ejemplo, always, ok, generally, frequently, sometimes, never, ok, rarely. Entonces, que esos generalmente decíamos que se colocan entre el sujeto y el verbo. Por ejemplo, I always teach English. I always teach English. Entonces la posición de ese tipo de, 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 de digamos, de frases o de palabras eh, que mencionan una frecuencia van siempre entre el sujeto y el verbo. Ahí van en medio. ¿Ok? Pero ya las expresiones de tiempo como every day, weekly, every month, every year, Siempre van al final de las oraciones. Por ejemplo, I go to work let's see, every day. Y a veces suelen ir al principio de la oración, pero nunca en medio. Por ejemplo, every day I go to work. Es correcto, solo que no es tan común. Y cuando se coloca la expresión de tiempo al principio, se divide por una coma. Every day, coma, I go to work. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando se colocan ese tipo de expresiones así, siempre eh, se coloca una coma para poderlas dividir. Pero siempre significaría lo mismo, no cambia. Siempre significaría, exacto, siempre significaría lo mismo. Solo que se divide con una coma cuando va al principio. Cuando se colocan al final, no hay ningún problema ahí, no hay ninguna coma que pueda dividirse. 
Yes. Good. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta adicional. No, está bien. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, muy bien. Entonces, eso sería todo. Entonces, en cuanto al feedback, nos vemos mañana. Espero no, nos podamos ver a, la, a, a las 8 en punto. Ok, en clase. Ok. Bye bye, Milcar. Have a good night. Ok, bye bye.